And Jens, can you describe the worst investment decision you've made and, and what you, you felt you learned from that? Richard? There's been a lot. Uh, we are simply in the world of making, in the game of, of making mistakes and managing mistakes. You know, I think you've heard, often heard the uh, most investment managers will say for every 10 investment decisions they make, if six of them are, are right, uh, they're doing well and they're outperforming. I think that's a fair comment. So what that essentially means is at any point in time, a significant amount, 40 odd percent, if you're doing well, are poor investment decisions and decisions you have to manage. Uh, you have to be flexible about them. Uh, you have to appraise them. Don't be stubborn. One of the absolute key um, um, attributes of a, of a solid fund manager, we believe, is flexibility. Um, and, and, and accept the fact that you get things wrong, manage it, and, and move out of a position if it's, if it's not there. And you, Royce? Sure. There have been uh, tons of those over the years, Andrew. I think if you look at the business of, of uh, investment management, we essentially in the business of gathering information and making decisions there right. And making decisions, you, you're never too going to get lots wrong um, and, 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 and some right as well. Um, you know, if you can get six out of 10 right, you, you'll have a very successful investment record. Um, I think one's got to have a, a very defined process that you follow. Um, in order to eliminate the mistakes, you've got to learn from your mistakes. Um, try and bolster your process so you don't repeat those mistakes. Um, and I think if I reflect on the bigger mistakes I've made, um, it's buying an asset when it looks cheap. Uh, and often it's cheap for a reason. Um, and one lives in hope that it's simply too cheap. But often, you know, the, the reasons why it, why it is cheap um, are ignored um, to one's peril. Uh, and, and I think the investment landscape is littered with examples like that. And it certainly cost me an immense amount of performance over the years, um, simply buying assets that look cheap. 